Okay guys and welcome to episode 4 of my FIFA 22 Manchester United Chrome I think you see we're going to start off against Chelsea the team currently down the 7th team we have beaten already this season so let's get into this game here we can do a double over the uh, London side and after this game we have a sim game against Fulham and we'll get into the transfer window where we plan to make at least one signing but we'll see when we get there let's get into this game but first don't forget to drop a like, subscribe and check out the other content on my channel Saniola now down the left hand side I think Chelsea fans would have loved him in real life as a signing over Aubameyang. Aubameyang might turn out good for them. It's such a strange signing for them to make. And that's a great save from De Gea. Madison. Casemiro from range, why not? And it's just straight at Edward Mendy. They can put pressure on them here. Dello. Ah, Dello can step in there. Ah, that's a good ball. It's a good ball to Zaniolo. It's a good ball and such a poor goal to concede. From sh sh uh, can't even speak. From Casemiro just firing a straight shot at Zani uh, Zaniolo. Uh, straight at Edward Mendy. And then Zaniolo just getting a good ball from Mason Mount. Offence capitulated from Dello stepping up. And ball defied laws of physics there. But we're one down. Oh, Ronaldo, that is brilliant. Ronaldo being chased down by Koulibaly, though. Quit inside. Finesse. And that is Ronaldo. At his best. That is a flashback to Ronaldo we saw at Real Madrid. And run inside. Beat a defender for pace and a little bit of skill. A cut back inside. And a shot into the far corner. And Ronaldo chop, I believe, happened in there as well. Yeah, little cut inside there with heel to flick. Ronaldo chop on the inside, cuts in, finesse. That's a great goal. Ronaldo, late on her. Ronaldo just hammered this one in. Ronaldo, and it's wide. Again, I just mistimed it by half a second to not get a green. Uh, okay, comes to Rashford. Not Rashford, comes to Bruno, sorry, from Rashford. I brought on as a left winger so we can use his pace in behind here. Can he get to that ahead of Reese James? No, he can't. Foul, possibly. Rashford is still pushing through to get the ball, but doesn't come away with it. Oh no, that, I knew it was going to happen. I just knew it was going to come from something where, like, it's just annoying. That attack, the second I realised that it just wasn't going to work out in my favour, I was like, you know what, I get the feeling of the score here, and look. Oh no, they're going to make it free, aren't they? Yep. Undeserved, honestly. All I had to do was actually scoop that. Barely any power on it, all he needed was to just get a, a little bit ahead of Ronaldo. What does he do? He puts so much power behind it that it goes all the way to Edward Mendy. And then rush it. And then oh, if they make it four, honestly, it's going to be just clinical depression. How is it four? You know what, we're not even going to let this happen, we're just going to play the rest of the game. Let's take the 4-1 loss and move. Bruno, of course Mendy makes a save. We don't win the header. We're not going to win this one either, are we? No, we actually did. But Anthony, ah. 4-1 loss somehow. Somehow we lost that game 4-1. Let's just move on. Yeah, as you can see here, earlier in the season we allowed Scott McTominay to make the move to West Ham. And I've just signed his replacement, so let's take a look at who I just signed. As you can see, the player I brought in is Toon Coop Miners from Atalanta and the Dutch uh, CDM. As he can play CDM, he can play centre mid and probably could make a decent job at Cam. Also, he's a very versatile player. And he'll be a very good uh, squad player for us, as well as a backup to Casemiro and potentially a future first team player. 
Oh, big up a 3 1 victory. Rashford, Ericsson, and Gapo getting the goals. Manchester City had offers, have, have offered Jack Grealish in a swap deal for Kelly Gapo, which is something we're not willing to do. Obvious reasons, and as you can see, I also accept a rejected sorry, a deal for Matt Skillman from Spurs. In the end, I decided to sim the uh, Aston Villa game because they were down in 16th and we picked up a 3 0 victory, but Wolves are currently in 9th, so I decided to play this game instead. So let's get into this one. I hope we can get revenge on this side for earlier this season. Anthony. Anthony. Back into Ronaldo. Over, over to Bruno. And that's 1 0. Anthony, who has just helped United to a win in real life as I'm recording this. Got his first goal. For United and Rashford scoring twice in that game. He's in, heavily involved in this one, getting it into Ronaldo who squares it over to Bruno. And Bruno has a fairly easy finish, I'd say. Oh yeah, so it was put across the goal. But it's a great finish from him. And the outside of his foot. And we're one level up. Okay. So that's uh, that's just poor defending. What is that? I just don't know what to say other than it's poor defending. Even after the shot is saved by De Gea, no one reacts. Like you see, De Gea here makes a save. Yeah, there you go, ref blow the whistle, ref, okay, and ball. How do you blow the whistle there? Nah. Interesting here that Leicester made an offer for Ronaldo and I'd be willing to think about it if like Real Madrid came in for him or Sporting maybe uh, next season most likely we might sell him just uh, you know bring in the next maybe put Rashid up for him move him around to bring in a backup striker if we need another season but yeah we're going to reject this offer from Leicester and move on with the window we're going to assume the second leg of the EFL Cup semi-final up against Chelsea the first leg ended 1-1 in the second game and we end up going through with 2-1 victory Ronaldo getting a one minute a goal in the first minute and Dallow also scoring. And we're going to play this game against Arsenal, we're currently sitting sixth. They have just sold uh, Gabriel though, so they've got Jonathan Tarr and Ben Wise at centre backs. As you can see, we're going to try a new formation. We're going to try a five at the back, and we're going to start Humphreys in this game and Rashford and Van der Beek, and Alessandro Martinez back at centre back. So we're going to get into this game and hope this formation works out for us and we can pick up a victory. Rashford, come on, use your pace. Hit that, Rashford. Good save for Ramsdale. What are they gonna do here? I'm gonna let Erdegaard shoot. Erdegaard shoots and it's over. Humphreys now. He just needs more pace. If he has more pace, he's a deadly winger. It's, just, it's gonna prove that right now. And Humphreys drops a goal. I believe that's his first goal for us in a played game. I'm not too sure. Can't remember scoring with him before. It's a great goal from him. It's a little bit of patient footwork on the edge of the box. There's a couple of touches inside and he just finishes it past Ramsdale. You can see here. That's it. Steps in. Good touch. Good touch there. And his right. He buries it. Rashford in a spot post gong, so that's my mic during the recording. But Rashford here, as you can see, takes a strike and it's saved by Ramsdale. And Arsenal come forward again here. Saka comes forward and forces a good save on David De Gea. We now have to uh, defend this corner here with Humphreys at the near post. I'm thinking they're going to go near post again, as they've done many times in this game, but it goes back post towards Kilman. He gets it clear. And Sancho has to just hold off Idaho here, or Idio, how you ever pronounce it, the young uh, winger. Sancho plays a brilliant ball over to Rashford who takes a heavy touch and a shot ends up being shot at Aram so and we can't get the ball there but then Arsenal come forward and a mistake there defensively I tried to just lay it off to the other centre back and they end up scoring from just 
a nothing goal. Just, you know, the game that's going against me. But um, Arby Lekonga, or Albert Lekonga, I forgot his first name, Sammy Lekonga here, gets the goal to put Arsenal back level. I you can see the Arsenal fans happy about that. I wasn't very happy about this because you'll see here, I get the ball with Martin as I turn around and I want to play it to the left. For some reason, it reads that I want to play it to the right. And it ends up going into the Conga. We just blast it past David De Gea, nothing you can do about that. And here we come later on in the game with Malassia, hesitant to cross this one in here because crossing hasn't really worked out for me. But we cross it in, in the end, and Rashford gets the goal, heads it in between the legs of Aaron Ramsdale. And I was so caught off by this goal because not only was it a cross, but it was a header. Two things I don't score in this series, or score in FIFA in general for me anyway. And because I, was, I was weighing up my options, realised it was the only option I had. Played it and Rashford put it in. And then late on here, Arsenal come forward again here. And I decided to go back to our normal formation, brought on Casemiro to play CDM, and in the end he puts in a great challenge here, which ends up being the difference. But some late scares there from Arsenal. As you can see here, we get put in a good deflection there, well, good block. And then the second one here, and then Arsenal, a late goal, and we end up picking a good 2 1 victory up. A here collects the ball, as you can see, and then we'll come here to the final game of the episode, which was up against West Ham. You can see McTominay in their side there. Obviously, we sold him to West Ham and brought in two Coop Manners, which we would have saw in the earlier part of the episode. It's our first time coming up against McTominay since we sold him. He's a very strong West Ham side there. And early on, they were going to cause this option. Uh, uh, scares there as you can see, causes problems, that's the word I'm looking for. Escamaka coming inside but then we we'll stop him. We we'll try to play it out here, try find Sancho which we do. Sancho gets it into Bruno. Bruno then waits for Sancho to make that run and finds him brilliantly here. Against Kufal and Abona gets it into Ronaldo, not really the best ball into Ronaldo but Ronaldo gets the ball anyway and blasts it past Fabianski. Put it into the back of the net and there it is, the celebration that we've seen so far, well, we've seen so many times in the series, sorry. It's not all worked there. And I believe Ronaldo at this point was on 15 league goals. And we'll see how many he is at the end of the episode on, because I believe he is one of the top scorers in the league. I think he might be joint top, as it currently sounds. Obviously, I'm doing this part post commentary, so we'll see at the end of the episode. But Ronaldo, it's a great strike from him, cut inside. I think Abango or Fabianski could do with that one into the side net. And here, Skamaka forces a great save out of David De Gea. I thought for sure Skamaka was going to score there, but Jared Bowen here from the corner. But it's in a decent cross the corner on the edge of the box. He gets it in here. And we're trying to just get the ball away, and then we can't. Just trying to put in challenges, anything we can. And McTominay puts the ball in the back of the net. Somehow there, we end up conceding. And he actually celebrates against us. At this point, I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm winning this game. Just because you celebrated, I'm winning. That is just disrespect on another level. Celebrating a team that just sold you. Granted, if it was a... It's, you know, it's not like a really emphatic celebration. But at the same time, I was really annoyed by it. And here, I was even more annoyed. Casemiro just plays a back heel. I have to put in a great challenge. Coleman there snaps it off a player out of anger. That was me just lashing out a little bit. And you end up playing the ball around here. And then Malassia gives away a penalty. And David De Gea for I don't know how many times in the series has to step up and try to save this one up against Kamaka and he does so I guess right well I guess left but I got the right direction and here late on they get a shot wide and I thought they were going to score here considering it was the 47th minute and usually AI scored there but they didn't but then in the second half they come forward again and they almost give away a penalty there but it was a great challenge in the end and Sancho cuts inside gets it to Ronaldo plays some good football with Bruno there getting the ball forward other than gets on the inside of Ke uh, Keher finds Madison gets it over to Bruno Fernandes who hits it I believe now he cuts it back across sorry and then the ball is cleared and West Ham come on the attack get it into Skamaka who then somehow again scores and gets his second of the game I can imagine at this point in the episode I was quite annoyed it was considered two goals out absolutely nothing two situations where we should have got it clear Skamaka almost jumps my manager there as you can see and again, it's just a situation where like the ball is played in, you then put in the challenge, which you can see I get the ball, and then Kilman just forgets about the ball, it seems like. And let Skamaka get an easy goal. And sadly, nothing De Gea could do about that one. 
we didn't get the ball here with Casemiro with uh, some great aggressive football we didn't come forward with Anthony here who runs in behind a Kerr and blasts it past Fabianski to make it 2-2 and then tried to grab the ball obviously the game doesn't let me I really hope in the next FIFA 3-23 when you're trying to do that it lets you instead of you know doing the celebration and stuff like that you just restart the game because in situations like this you want to do that which is a great run from Anthony great burst of pace and a great shot across goal to put us back 2-2 And then West Ham here, we're putting a great challenge there. They didn't really see it, but it was a great challenge to stop them. And come forward with Anthony down this right hand side. Yeah, again, plays it through to Ronaldo here. Ronaldo out wide, I try, I'm thinking about cutting it back in. I do so. I cut it back across goal, fire a strike off the post and in. Ronaldo puts us back 3 2 and pulls off a celebration there I haven't yet seen in this game. So, such a strange feeling when you see a celebration you've never seen almost a year after getting came out. I can't. I really like that celebration. Though, to be fair, just celebrating in front of the crowd, just sitting on the ball, just saying, "Yeah, and what I've just scored." And Ronaldo, is that just a Ronaldo celebration? It might be. It was a great finish from Ronaldo. To be fair, cross goal, blasts it off the post and then Fabianski can't reach that one. Too much power and pace behind it. Puts us up three two. In the 80th minute here, Dallo may, almost makes a mistake there, but. Recovers, almost recovers there, trying to block it, but we get the ball away, play some good counter attacking football here. Madison then gets it down the right hand side to Anthony, who gets a bit lucky there, but plays the ball across the Coop Miners, and he lays it off to Ronaldo to complete his hat trick, and he does so. And I believe that makes it 17 goals in the league in 17 games for Ronaldo. He started off on 14, he scored three, so he was on 17. And I believe at the end of the episode when I checked it, he was joint top with Salah. Obviously last season he was the uh, top scorer in the league with 27 goals. I'm looking to do the same thing with him with again. And he's on, he's, on, he's on the way to do so. And later on here in the 92nd minute, West Ham try coming forward. We block them with Dallow there. Get out to Madison. And I'm just like, you know what, end it. Get the ball away. Referee blows the whistle. It's a good 4-2 victory for us. And we start the episode off losing by four goals and we end up scoring for ourselves Ronaldo hat trick there as you can see late on here uh, we decided to sim this game against Leicester because it wasn't really much point playing it so I wanted to get the next game which we'll see at the start of the episode but Rashford scores twice to get us a 2-1 victory over Leicester as you can see we end the episode off in first place one point ahead of Manchester City as you'll see here in a second we've got two very big games to start off the next episode we face Manchester City there in the final league uh, Carabao Cup but it's a slightly episode off we have a round of 16 game in the Champions League up against Atletico Madrid that's going to be a big game you can see some of the other fixtures there like PSG Man City Bayern Apple being played some big games there but yeah don't forget to drop a like subscribe check out my other content in the channel and I hope to see you in the next episode when we have these big games we hope to advance in the, in the Champions League and win the Carabao Cup continue a good run of form in the Premier League Thank you for watching and goodbye.